okay, we have this particular inequality in front of us. We have been given 4x squared divided by open bracket 1 minus the square root of 1 plus 2x close bracket squared where we are squaring the um, denominator and this is less than uh, 2x plus 9. When present a solution to this particular inequality in a step-by-step -step fashion, in this solution, we attempt to solve for x in a step-by-step -step fashion. And we shall show that in the next couple of steps as follows. Right, we want to actually present a solution to this particular problem. And to present a solution to this particular problem, we take note of a couple of things, but we take note of the fact that in the denominator, we do not want the denominator to be equal to zero. But also we look at square roots and make sure that square roots themselves have to be, um, have to be defined, have to be real. And so first things first, we note that we have two X, uh, one plus two x in the denominator, and uh, we therefore have to write down a couple of restrictions. One of the restrictions here must be that x cannot be zero. Why? Because if ever x equals zero in the denominator, you would have that one plus zero appears under the square root, and one minus one becomes zero, and we will have division by zero. And so we have a restriction, and the restriction is therefore that x cannot be zero. Moreover, under the square root sign, we have uh, 1 plus 2x that is uh, greater or equal to 0. And uh, we want um, to ensure that um, the, whatever is under the square root itself is basically um, something that is greater or equal to 0 because the square roots are defined for that. Okay, so, and therefore what? does this mean? So if you have 1 plus 2x is greater or equal to 0, we have 1 plus 2x is greater or equal to 0, and this means that uh, 2x, okay, is greater or equal to minus 1. And uh, how do we solve this? To so solve this, we multiply the left by 1 half, but whatever we've done on the left must be done on the right, because so this is an inequality. And this means therefore x is greater or equal to minus one half. So we have two uh, restrictions. What are the restrictions? Um, right, so uh, the restrictions are as follows. Right, so these are the restrictions. What are the restrictions? The restrictions are x is not zero, together with x is uh, greater or equal to minus one half. These are the restrictions and we're excited to have this problem in front of us. We proceed to solve this right now and to solve this here, we take note of the problem itself that has been given to us. And so uh, we tackle these part by part, but also step by step to show our mathematical prowess and also our ability to solve mathematical problems uh, methodically. Okay, so what have we been given? We need to remember that the examiner gave us 4x squared and this is divided by um, one minus uh, the square root, okay, of one plus two x, close bracket, squared, and this is less than twice x plus what? plus nine, okay, right? We take note of the fact that the numerator can be written as just two x, and so we proceed to divide by the denominator one minus the square root of one plus two x. And uh, what we do is uh, we square like this. And this is less than two x plus nine. Okay, we are showing that the left-hand side can be written as what? Um, the left-hand side of the inequality can be written as a perfect square. Okay, now if the left-hand side can be written as a perfect square, we proceed to analyze this more. And we say, we have twice x divided by one minus the square root of one plus twice x. And so we multiply by one plus the square root 
of one plus twice x, and we divide by one plus the square root of one plus twice x. And we square the left, and everything is, uh, or the left-hand side is less than um, 2x plus 9. Now, at this point, what do we have here? So which means that we have 2x into 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x. And we close like this. And the denominator has 1 times 1, which is 1 minus. Minus the square root of 1 plus 2x times the square root of 1 plus 2x is 1 plus 2x. And uh, we square this, which is less than 2x plus 9. OK, so now we have 2x in the numerator. We have 2x, um, open bracket, 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x. In the denominator, we have 1 minus 1 minus 2x. And uh, it's squared, all squared, less than 2x plus 9. OK, so we apply distribution in the denominator, getting minus 1 minus 2x. 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So that we have 2x, 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x. 1 minus 1 is 0, and we have minus 2x. 2x plus 9. So now, what do we do now? We realize that the cancellation law applies to this because 2x cancels, and uh, we then have minus. We then have a minus. So in other words, we have minus into 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x. And we close like this squared, which is less than 2x plus 9. And we square this 1 plus um, the square root of 1 plus 2x squared. And this is less than 2x plus 9. Okay, we square the, we perform the square um, and evaluate the square on the left side of the equation. Getting 1 plus 2 <clears throat> times the square root of 1 plus 2x plus, okay, so let us uh, evaluate this here. Take into account uh, the fact that we must write clearly. Right, so we have the left. And uh, we are trying to make sure that uh, we square properly. Right. So now we then have 1 plus 2x less than 2x plus 9. All right. So now at this point, we have 1 plus 1, which is a 2. But also, uh, clearly, the we can cross out the 2x and 2x because it, um, it appears on both sides of the inequality. And so now what do we have? Um, if we have one plus one, which is two, and therefore it is nine minus two, which is seven. So what do we have? You have two, the square root of one plus two x is less than seven. And now we can proceed at this point. We proceed because one plus one is two and then 9 minus 2 is a 7. So at this point, we take 1 half when we multiply the left by 1 half. But also, we're going to multiply the right. Right. We multiply the right by 1 half. So 1 half times uh, 2 gives us a 1, so that you have 1 plus 2x over two. Okay, now, okay, this square root here must be greater or equal to zero. So that you have one plus two x, which is less than seven over two. So in the end, this is what we have. Okay, the square root, the definition is to be greater or equal to zero. Okay, we proceed now 
to evaluate and solve for x given this here. And to solve for x at this point, uh, we square. We square the left. And we have 1 plus 2x. We square the middle. And we square the we square the right, which is one plus two x is less than forty nine out of four. Okay, so which is uh, zero is less or equal to two x is less than what nine out of four. which is uh, you subtract one from each side of this. Subtract one from each side, getting a minus one is less than or equal to two X and we have a four and four here. And this becomes a 45 out of four. Right, when you get to this point, uh, the couple of things that uh, remain very important is to multiply by one half Multiplying the left, you take one half and you multiply 2x by one half, but also you take one half and you multiply 45 out of four, like so. So we multiplied each of these by one half, getting minus one half on the left is less than or equal to, okay, here we get an x in the middle, and this is uh, what? It's exactly 45 out of eight, like this, okay. And so we have uh, solved this particular problem and this is the answer we got, but uh, recall that, you recall the restrictions. So this is sort of what we got, but we have the restrictions. This answer must also be compliant, must also satisfy the restrictions. And uh, namely, we said X is not zero, but also X is greater or equal to minus one half. So this agrees that X is greater or equal to minus one half, but when we're here, we must uh, say that x is not zero. So which means that the solution is gonna be x uh, minus one half less or equal to x less than 45 out of eight together with x not equal to zero because between the negative one half and the positive 45 out of eight, there is a zero, okay? So between every negative number and a positive number, there is zero. So we must state that x is not zero. Okay, now a couple of things are at the heart of the operation, so we need to analyze this. But what we do, we need to state up front that if you have minus one half x, 45 out of eight, 45 out of eight, 45 out of eight, okay, so that's what we write down here. X not zero, okay, we can write the solution like this or we can write the solution as a minus one half um, less than, um, minus one half less equal to x less than zero, together with zero less than x less than 45 out of eight. So in other words, uh, we have uh, a couple of ways, okay, to present our solution. So you can write the solution like this, um, in, in two parts like this. Or we can write the solution like that with the restriction there. Okay, so we are excited because so this here is the answer to the problem. So you can write the answer like this or the answer like that. We have solved this particular problem in a step-by-step -step fashion. Thanks everybody for joining us and a very, very goodbye to you.